All right, on the Fight Bananas Hotline, Kenneth Crowder, man. How you doing, brother? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. I just actually just talked with the Hebrew Hammer. Uh, he had very respectful things to say to you. He can't wait, though. He can't wait November 23rd. He said there's a lot of unfinished business in there. So let's just start right there and then let's start with the fight. Um, unfinished business. You ready to get the job done? Yeah, definitely. Um, we've been training hard pretty right. much weekend, day in, and day out. And pretty much I'm looking for the end result, uh, walking out of here with my hand raised. Yes, sir. It's been a successful 2019. You already got one win underneath the belt to kind of close it down with another win. Um, you know, what do you want going forward after this win or after this fight, 2019? What do you want in 2020 for your uh, professional career? Um, Pretty much, uh, I want to take this as far as I can take it. Uh, right. Keep uh, racking up some wins, possibly land a contract somewhere, and live the dream. Yeah. Right, right. And man, it's been hot. I've been talking to a lot of fighters. I've been talking to a lot of people. You know, the UFC, they got that Dana White Contender Series show that's been on fire. Uh, PFL, they're paying out a lot of money to a lot of fighters. Bellator, uh, I don't know if you're into that one FC over there and, you know, and other countries. It's just like there's a lot of uh, opportunity, I feel like, you know, five, six years. Definitely. Ago. A little bit more of a, a monopoly. So uh, do you feel that momentum? Do you feel like there? Yeah, by two, three more wins in a row, I could get one of these spots. Yeah, I definitely feel that, um, especially with the two or three more wins, uh, especially with some solid opponents. Right. Um, I feel like um, I put in the work. I put in the time. Um, my coaches put in the work with me. They put in the time. And I feel like um, we're, we're knocking on that door. We're right there. Very cool. And fight for it nine. That's uh, who you're fighting for this time. I talked to uh, Jonathan, the promoter, earlier. And uh, he's excited, man. He's really excited. He's really excited for your fight in particular. Uh, you know, good grudge match, unfinished business. Uh, that's kind of been Definitely. closing right now. And, uh, you know, how, how how excited are you to fight for Fight For It and Fight For It 9, November 23rd? Looks like it's going to be a packed house. Uh, a lot of buzz around this event. A lot of buzz. Oh, yeah. Um, I, uh, I'm super, I'm ecstatic. Uh, I checked the fight card. I seen how many fights are on the card. Uh the card is pretty much stacked, and I'm just – I appreciate the opportunity that they're giving me to even just be able to showcase my uh, talent on this card. Like, anytime I'm I'm able to showcase my talent, uh, it's definitely uh, – it brings it, – it's definitely a big joy. It brings a big joy in the inside because not, not a lot of people are able to say that they're pretty much following their dreams or they're right. living their dreams, and um, – this was one of my dreams when I was in high school, middle school. I remember telling one of my teachers that I was going to be a cage fighter. And a couple <laughs> people, they laughed because I was small. And look at me now. I'm, <laughs> I'm living it. Definitely not small, my man. Um, so talking about that win, what was that first memory? What was that first fight? Uh, was it some? Was it a UFC fight or a Saturday night? You're like, oh, my gosh. Like I remember watching Tito Ortiz and Chuck Liddell I'm like, what is this? Like, I'm all in. Like, UFC, you have my money for life. You know what I mean? What was that moment <laughs> that you got connected? My for I, I had, I would have to say, is when I watch um, um, Sean Shirt. Anytime, when I first <laughs> seen Sean Shirt, I was a big Sean Shirt fan. Right. And um, after Sean Shirt, then I was a Frankie Edgar. And so when they end up having to face each other, Right, like it kind of broke. It broke my heart because those are my two main guys. Because I'm, I'm short, I'm stocky, and I was like, uh, anytime I would see one of those two win, I was like, yeah, that's one for the little guys. <laughs> right, right. Uh, brother, uh, Frankie Egner just got on that Riley North Carolina card, uh, UFC in January. Oh yeah, yes. I saw that. That that might be something that uh, you know, we got to pop out. We got to get out there. You know. Oh, definitely, without a doubt. You know, I might, I, I might have to get that UFC media badge. I'll take you backstage and be like, hey, Frankie. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I would love that. That's awesome, man. Uh, we're really excited for you. We're really excited for the whole event. The stack card, main event, just solid. I, I love the card, love the promotion. I love the momentum you guys going on. So, uh, yeah, man, just continue success. Uh, I want to give you the floor. 
any kind of social media plugs or your gym or any kind of anything like that or a sponsor anything you want my man the floor is yours oh yeah definitely i definitely want to give a big shout out to renegade boxing uh my head coach phil wills he puts in a lot of time with me like when i'm in fight camp he's pretty much in fight camp i also want to give a, a shout out to uh my grounds coach uh michael allen at check matt charlotte uh, over there off of Westinghouse. Um, also, a few of my sponsors, um, pretty much in-home chiropractic and personal training in Charlotte. Also, Filthy Beard uh, Care Co. Also, uh, Just Hard Apparel, um, the Keratin Group, uh, LHPI. I want to give them a shout out. Um, and also, last but not least, On Call Mobile Medical and Wellness all my sponsors that show me love, especially during training camp, make sure I'm, I'm staying fit, make sure I'm right. staying tight. I definitely appreciate all of it. That's awesome, man. Yeah, they're, they're so important, you know what I mean, for this stage in the career, for a lot of the fighters, uh, regional fighters. Like you said, you're on the cusp. You might be two, three wins away from a big, big payday, and it's hard, you know, to get through life on the normal and uh, definitely to help you out, man. That's really important. So a uh, big shout out to them. We'll put out the links underneath this uh, video. But uh, yeah, man, we can't wait, man. We're super excited. November 23rd, it's going down. Uh, definitely. Third, last question. Last thing. Uh, fight prediction. Uh, I can't really say how I'm going to finish it. I just know at the end of the night, I'm walking out with my hand up. Okay, could it go all? Could it could it go the distance? You okay with yeah, that? Yeah, okay it, it can. Yeah, it can definitely go the distance because right. uh, he's very he's a very uh, Schroeder's a very talented fighter. Uh, right. He fights hard, and sure. he has a uh, he has a little bit of fu in him. So he's <laughs> definitely he's definitely a, uh, a worthy opponent. Man, I cannot wait. This is I, I'm gonna be watching. I'll be watching. Uh, continue success to you. We'll talk to you very soon, and uh, yeah, we're very excited for you. And we'll stay in touch. All right. Thank you. You take Later, it easy. Later. Bye -bye.